Howdy there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Grip Review. Thank you very much for tuning in for this episode where I am going over, basically doing an unboxing of the Battle Box Mission 24 box. If you're familiar with this company, they have four different tiers, Basic, Advanced, Pro, and Pro Plus. Now, with the Pro Plus, you get all of the other tiers, so it's an all-in-one. As you guys know, I have taken a break from looking at the subscription boxes, but I've had a number of requests to check out Battle Box again to do an unboxing, so here I am. You guys have asked for it, you guys shall receive it. So just to talk about the company real quick, it is a monthly subscription service and inside of each box, they provide survival and tactical gear. Each box has a theme, right? Each box is called a mission. So this is mission number 24. Let's go over the prices very quickly and then we'll get to the box opening. For the basic box, you are looking at $25 a month plus shipping. The advanced box is $50 a month plus shipping. The pro box is $100 a month plus shipping. The pro plus is $150 a month plus shipping. All right, so we've gone over the prices and all that good stuff. Let's open this box here. Let's see what is inside. The box is packed to the gills. There looks like there's some pretty cool items in here too. Okay, so this is the Mission 24 box. This is the Camp Chef box. This is February 2017. Okay. It claims here for the Pro Plus box, which this is, there's a total value of $329. Let's just go ahead, start pulling out items. I will separate them into their groups later on. Now, I have already opened this box and I've begun using some of this gear here. So first off, there is a knife. And this is from a company that I personally haven't heard of, Utica Cutlery Company. Hopefully that's how you pronounce that. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but it is a very good looking knife right here. You have a Kydex sheath. Nice looking blade, micarta handles, good jimping. Yeah, you know, it reminds me a lot of the BK-16 knife. A little bit more burly, a little heavier, but uh, yeah, very close to that. It has an integrated fire steel. It also has an integrated knife sharpener here on the sheath. Very cool. Sharp too. Next up, we have the Light My Fire Spice Box. You could put salt and pepper inside of this thing and then open it up at the ends and dump out what you need. Okay, here's some food. We have some pork barrel barbecue, uncured bacon jerky. It's bacon, but better. Oh yeah? <laughs> bacon, but better. Let's see if that's true. That's a, that's a big statement right there, isn't it? Smells very good. I'm not because of the spices. I can't say that it smells like bacon though. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. It's pretty spicy. It has a kick to it. There's some good flavors to it. What I don't like is that. It it is really, really sugary, very granule. Um, it's just too sweet for me. I, I don't like it. It's almost like I'm eating like candied bacon or something. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry folks, I don't like that. If it didn't have the sugar in it, I think I would actually like it, but I don't like the texture. I don't like the way that it bites in your mouth. Hmm. Is it better than bacon? Not in my opinion. Ugh. Okay, moving on. What we have here is a portable pocket stove. That is a pretty cool little stove right there. Very small, very lightweight. It has a starter and ignition. Hmm. Yeah, we will have to try this out and see how well it works in the future. Very small, very compact. Okay, next up, we have a Wildo Camp A box. This is a seven piece kit here. This says, it says here that this is the original Camp A box. Now, I'm familiar with this product. I'm also familiar with this company. Snug Pack, you guys know them. It's all the same company. Wildo is an offshoot, right? So inside of this, what you have is a complete kitchen, I guess you can say. You have your spoon, spork, knife combo. You have a cup, which unfolds. Just like so. 
These are used by a number of militaries from what I understand. You have a bowl here and also it pops up just like the cup does. So you have a pretty deep bowl or cup, whatever you wanna use this for. You have a salt pepper spice shaker. You can fill it up from the top and then here at the bottom, you can open up these different ports. There you go. And dump out what you need. Very cool. Here you have the tray and you can use this as a bowl or whatever you want to. You have a cutting board. <laughs> How about that? That's unusual. Is it needed? Truly needed? I'm not sure about that, but it's interesting that they did include this. And then you have the plate, right? Very cool. It's a very cool system. Very inexpensive, very good quality. Okay, moving on. What you have here is a telescoping hot dog stick. <laughs> I guess you could do s'mores on this too. The ends here are not very pointy, but I guess that's okay. Don't have to be. You're not going to stab someone with this. Okay, what you have here is the mini camping tripod. That's pretty neat. I will set this up in just a moment. Here we have a book, and this is the Backcountry Cookbook, the ultimate guide to outdoor cooking. Now, what you have here is a product from Ready Man, and this is a campfire skewer, and essentially, you can see here this hole and that hole right there. It's meant so that you could take a stick and shove it up through one hole, bend it over the top of the stick. Then you could bend these forks up and you could cook marshmallows over a fire. We have a CRKT paracord bracelet. I like the looks of this one. Most of the time I don't like paracord bracelets, but yeah, this one's not bad looking. So you can see that there. Would I personally wear a paracord bracelet? No. <laughs> no. So on the largest setting, it fits on my wrist. Compared to many paracord bracelets out there, this one feels pretty good. The quality is good. The hardware is substantial. All right, here comes the big boy. And what we have here is a Stan Sport propane camp stove, two burner. That is pretty Awesome, guys. These stoves right here run right around 100 bucks. So to get one inside of this box, it's pretty impressive. These make great stoves, very simple to use. You guys have seen similar products on the channel here before in the past. The stove that I have, I believe is a Coleman and it looks identical to this one here. All right, folks, you guys have seen all the products. I will break them down into the different tiers so you can see exactly what you get with each tier. So here you go guys, here are the four tiers. And let's just start with the basic one right here. You have the cookbook telescoping stick. You have the Ready Man campfire skewer. You have the Light My Fire salt pepper shaker, spice container. Then you have the little pocket stove. This is pretty cool. This is the advanced tier, $50. What you have here is the Wildo Camp A-Box complete set. And you also have the mini camping tripod. When you move to the Pro, which is $100, you get the stove and everything else. Pro Plus, $150, you get the knife. You get the paracord bracelet. You get the beef jerky, which is disgusting in my opinion, and you get everything else. So here's the tripod all set up, fairly easy to do. As you can see here, you have three legs, and each leg is made up of three components, right? Then it all screws into the base right here. Then you have your hanging chain for your pot. It also has a hook, which you can use to attach to your pot so you can hang it over the fire. Okay, folks, I went online and did a little price checking here to see how Battle Box's prices matched up to the real world. So, with the Stand Sport Stove, Battle Box states here that it has a value of $72. On Amazon, you could pick the stove up for $70. Bucks. So, pretty close, pretty close. For the Light My Fire Spice Container, Battle Box stated that that was worth $8.98 on Amazon. It is $8.65. So again, very close. Now with the Utica, hopefully I'm saying that right. This is the UTKS4 survival knife. 
They say this is worth $115. I was able to find it for $89 on a knife website. So, yeah, you know how that goes with knives and prices. So, all in all, BattleBox has done a good job of staying on point with their prices. What do I think about this box? It's not bad. You know, one thing to keep in mind is that these monthly subscription boxes are not for everyone. They're not for me, but I do like showing them off because for a lot of people, they do like this sort of stuff. They like having the thinking part of purchasing products taken out, and they like getting a box of gear. Inside of each box, there's definitely one or two pieces, which I think is pretty cool, pretty good stuff. I have to say that I hate that beef jerky, but it was free. It was courtesy of barbecuebox.com. And I'm glad it is because, in my opinion, this stuff is gross. Gross. Maybe you guys like it, and if you do, that's fine, but it, it doesn't match my taste at all. And it also, it doesn't taste like bacon either. Just a big wad of sugary meat. I don't know. So, folks, there you have it. That is my look at the Battle Box Mission Number 24. What do you guys think about this box? Until next time, everybody, take care, strength and honor, be well. Thank <laughs> you.